Hey guys, I had trouble going through my uh, YouTube and Google account, or Gmail account, sorry, and uh, after spending about 20 seven hours off and on, uh, well not really, but uh, it was about that long before I figured out what the hell I did wrong. So uh, everything's good to go, I had like 50 subscribers on my uh, Gmail, which is my YouTube indicator when someone wants to send me a video or be friends or subscribe or ask me a question. All that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, today was just, uh, a weird fucking day. I had this fucking idiot. Had his car running. Nobody in the car. Actually, there was somebody in the car. It was a little baby, still in the baby seat. And if my phone phone at the time wasn't fucking dead, I would have called 911 with the cops or whatever and said, hey, I got this baby here in his working car, van running. Nobody in there. And then the fucker comes out. Fucking pizza delivery. I'm like, what's more important, man? Your baby will fucking 30 minutes or it's free. Oh, fuck. So then, uh, from that, I see this fucking stupid idiot bitch fucking drive a fucking car, fucking one flat tire on the driver's side. Her car is slanted. And, uh, she, she goes out of the vehicle. She, like, takes the car off the side when it's already making a fucking bunch of shit noise. And, uh, she checks the other side of the vehicle. I'm like, why are you checking it when it's a car's already, you know, slanted? Um, but whatever, stupid bitch. Um, well, it cost her a lot of money, but, uh, yeah, she had a flat tire. So, yeah, two dumb fuckers for sure today. Um, but, uh, to make a long story short, I'm going to talk about the video games I picked up here. And the weird fucking DVD, which I did not read the back of until now. But, uh, start off. Um, I picked up one of these, but it was blue, and uh, it came with two chargers, and I got a game with it, um, Scrabble, uh, Blast from a uh, garage sale, and I sold the blue one to my friend for 25 bucks because I didn't need it, and I also got a GameCube from the same person who got the Game Boy Advance SP. So for what I paid for uh, the Game Boy Advance SP and the uh, other Game Boy or the Nintendo GameCube and the Game Boy Advance SP, I got my money back from that. Oh man, fucking messages, fucking idiot. So uh, moving on. Uh, so I have an extra one of these. I don't know if I mentioned that um, today. I picked up a uh, Nintendo game for my friend. Um, actually, do I have one? I do not have one, so I'll keep that one. Fuck it. Um, I got Paper Mario here. I got, uh, three more Game Boy Advance games to go through. I got Final Fantasy Tactics, Mario Kart Super Circuit, and then Sonic Battle. Um, sticking with Nintendo. Yeah, Virtual Bart. Uh, I actually bought it from my friend, so he'll be paying me back for that. But I did pick it up. Um, I didn't like that game anyway. Uh, Robocop. Tiny Toon Adventures. Tetris. Uh, Facts and Do. So much to go through. I don't know if I show this, but I paper Mario. I also actually had Mario Party 1, but I, uh, it's that for my friend, so that's why it's not in this video because he's already got it. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII, that's a five bucks. Um, I don't trust that. I'll put that back there. Sega Genesis, couple, just a couple games that are complete. Uh, Bubsy 2 and The Jungle Book. That's something I've never seen before. Um, a Sega Genesis cleaning system. Don't know too much about this. Uh, but yeah, that's, a, that's a, pretty much how it works. It's a reading material. I don't know, maybe I'll do like a trade for you or something. I don't even know if this works. Hey, you want something that may not or may work? Um, Xbox 360 games, these were 10 to 11 dollars each. Now, I'm not sure if I showed this one, so if I didn't, I do apologize. Uh, Forza Motorsport 3, not sure if I showed this one. Definitely haven't showed these ones yet. 
they were released uh, recently. Uh, Conflict Night Ops. I uh, want to try different shooting games that are called Duty. Uh, Fear 2. Those are 10 bucks each. Uh, Bioshock 2, 11. Assassin's Creed 2, 11. Um, and probably the weirdest fucking thing I picked up out of everything you guys just saw was this. Now, this barely caught my eye. Like, when you see that, I first thing I saw was that. So I'm like, oh, look at that, WrestleMania. But then, WrestleMania, I'm like, what the fuck is that? Kind of at the front, I'm like, oh, fuck, the famous Mysterio. I've written it that. So that's how they spell his name. Where's the Y? I can only see sometimes Y. But, like, it's M Y. That's how he's got the name spelled. And then Layla Milani, if I don't know if that name sounds familiar to you guys, but uh, she was a diva contestant. And she was also on Deal or No Deal. Yes, I do have a lot of useless knowledge up in my head. But uh, after reading this, I had no idea what actually it was. So let me read it to you guys, and then may, uh, you guys can decide what you guys think. Obviously, because I can't control your minds. Or can I? Okay. So, for an amateur porn film crew traveling through Mexico. It actually says amateur porn. Uh, a wrong turn in the middle of nowhere leads to the ghost town called La Sangra de Dios. I hope I pronounced that right. Where locals claim that uh, deranged luchador um, mascarado pro wrestling legend Bray Mysterio still, still lives to rip the faces off his victims. Maybe now we know why he wears a mask. I don't know. Uh, now the night is closing in, the clothes are coming off, and the ultimate death match is about to be unleashed. Erwin Keyes is, uh, I guess, from House of a Thousand Corpses, and Sexy Leia Milani, pro wrestling hottie and deal or no deals, lucky number 13 co star, in the scorched premium bra bursting shocker that Dead Central hails as blo bloody slamming fun with one of the most original movie maniacs to come along in a long time. WrestleManiac is the stuff that cult classics are made of. That's what it says. So, uh, that's what I picked up. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. Um, oh, I also got this fucking kick-ass hat. Because my old Nike hat was one apart, so I'm pretty proud of that. Go Canada Go when it comes to hockey. Number one. Almost like Peter Chow. I walked into this, the one store where I got this movie and the guy goes hey chow side motherfucker I'm like what oh right sure Pfft, fuck I'm so fucking dope thanks for watching bye